Today we've got something very cool. We've been sent from Hatchet Parkworks, issue number one of Dungeons & Dragons Adventurer magazine. See? It's here. Well, this... Issue number one, first... Well, not... It's not an issue. It is the issue. <laughs> Comes with these very cool starter dice in a very nice little collector's tin. And I'm keeping these. You can't have them, Paul. No. No, they're mine. Issue number one is the first part of their adventure, along with some extra sort of rules and guides and how to play D&D. And actually, it comes with all sorts of extra bits and pieces about getting started in D&D. So even if you haven't played before, this basically contains a, I've never played before and I want to learn how to play. Even things like an introduction to combat. Yeah. Useful things. And you don't even have to worry about making your own characters for the game if you've never played before because they're all provided for you. All the sheets ready done with little character artwork. The artwork's really cool, actually. I don't know if you can see that there. Really beautiful artwork. And what's nice is this this particular, the first game, is going to span a few copies of the, uh, of the magazine. So you'll be able to sort of give it a read, get to know it, and you can start playing it right now. And then by the time the next issue comes out, you'll be ready to get to it. The subscription comes with all sorts of goodies and extras. We haven't been paid to do this, by the way, but they have sent us a free copy, and I think it's awesome, and I'm going to get every issue. You get this uh, rather attractive dice tray in a sort of baby blue colour. My wife's going to really like it. Issue number three comes with the ring binder, which will be very helpful, uh, because, I don't know if you saw, they're all perforated like this. They've got little punch holes in it, so that they can all go into one big ring binder. And even things like this come with little metal hooks, so they can be stored really nicely inside. You're never going to lose any bits of it. It can all stay together as one big thing. So it's basically like getting the world's best D&D book all in one go, but like over the course of the span of the magazine. You also get a special DM screen that is exclusive to this magazine, as I understand. And I'm most excited about this. After a certain number of us, seven, seven issues, I think? Seven issues. You get a dice jail. And I have the perfect dice to immediately put in it because I've tried them several times over the last few recordings of my podcast and every single time they have failed me. And I think they're getting bold and, you know, they think they're in untouchable. So dice jail is going to be necessary. The magazine itself contains so many cool little tips. It's got advice for being a DM, it's got like guides on how to create characters, on lore, on spellcasting, combat, how to play the game in general. It's just loads of really handy things. So if you've played D&D &D for a while, you'll still find probably find some useful things in there. If you've never played before, this is a really good opportunity to go, do you know what? I'm going to get into it because it's just got everything there. You don't have to worry about it, think you're missing things. It's all there for you. And it sort of holds your hands through the beginning. And I can't wait to see how it all plays out and if we get even more technical and really specialist advice later on in the, uh, the run. I'm also excited about issue number two because apparently I get some gold dice with it and I can't wait. And those will be used for the most precious of rolls. <laughs> so a massive thank you again to hatchetpartworks.com uh, for these amazing magazines set up. I can't wait to receive all the other issues. If you want to check them out for yourself, if you can't find them in your local store, then make sure you check out hatchetpartworks.com forward slash D and D adventurer.